Welcome football fans to Front Page Transfers, where we bring the hottest transfer rumors and news from the world of football. We have an exciting episode today on some potential big moves. Is Lukaku the new Judas? Will Tuchel get his dream striker signing? Is Bernardo Silva on his way out? Keep watching to find the answers. We start with news from FSV Barcelona. As per Ferran Martinez, Xavi has approved the signing of Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva has blocked all offers, including those from PSV and Saudi Arabia, because he wants to join FI Barcelona. It is his big dream to become a blograna. Pep Guardiola has promised Bernardo Silva that he will approve his departure to FC Barcelona, as long as the offer is good. Xavi, Laporta and Mendes have decided to make all efforts to complete his transfer. El Partidazo de Cope reports FC Key Barcelona are tracking low-cost options like Lo Celso and Thiago Alcantara in case they miss out on Bernardo Silva. After making his move to Barcelona official, El K. Gundogan said, It's a dream come true. I remember when I was a kid watching Barca from Richgard, from Pep. I have been here many times as a spectator, and now I'm proud to be part of this story. I expect good football. I will bring experience and quality in the middle. I can play six or eight and project myself. The transfer dealings continue as Oriol Romeo's move to FC Barcelona is now completed. Cadena Sir reports, Barcelona will pay 5 million euros fixed transfer fee plus variables, plus loan of Pablo Torre to Girona. And according to Gianluca Di Marzio, Juventus wants to start talks with Barcelona about a loan deal with an option to buy for Frank Kessie. As per Ferran Martinez, Jules Koundé has told Savi that he has no problem with playing in any position next season. Savi told him that he's planning on using the 3-4-3 formation and he'd play more as a centre-back than a right-back. Afsky Barcelona were sanctioned by UFA under financial fair play. They received a fine of €500,000 for wrongly declaring profits resulting from the disposal of intangible assets, other than transfers of players, which do not constitute relevant income within the meaning of regulations for the 2022 financial year. Moving on to Bayern Munich and the ongoing saga surrounding Harry Kane. According to Florian Plettenberg, Bayern's top executives believe that Kane definitely has a price tag this summer. It is expected that the transfer will go through within the next two to three weeks. Bayern's plan B, if they fail to secure a deal this summer, is to sign Kane on a free transfer next year. Kane has made it clear that he only wants to join Fee Bayern and is convinced that he can win the Champions League with the club. Uli Honus, Bayern Munich CEO, has emphasized that if Kane keeps his word, they will sign him. Speaking about the negotiations, Honus stated, Tottenham will have to give up. We've to get an asking price from Levy. Rummenig speaks to him regularly. In recent developments, Bayern Munich CEO Jan Christian Dreesen met with Tottenham chairman Daniel Levy over breakfast in London to discuss Harry Kane. David Ornstein reports that no fresh offer was made during the meeting, and the clubs remain on good terms. It's worth noting that Kane will travel with Spurs for preseason. However, According to Fabrizio Romano, Tottenham is not willing to accept the 80 million euros fixed fee for Harry Kane. Sources close to Spurs guarantee that this amount won't be enough for Bayern to make the deal happen. Despite this, Bayern remains hopeful and wants to insist on Kane to make progress on the deal. Moving on to Inter Milan, according to Gianluca Di Marzio, Romelu Lukaku began negotiations with Juventus while Inter Milan were preparing to play the Champions League final. Romelu Lukaku was unhappy with how he was used last season at Inter, and especially that he was benched to start the Champions League final. The negotiations took an unexpected turn when Lukaku spoke to Inter's director Piero Asilio on the phone, who informed him that he was no longer in the club's plans. Shockingly, the call lasted only 30 seconds. Romelu Lukaku has agreed to personal terms with Juventus for a contract worth 11 million euros per year, according to Tata Sport. As a result of this development, the deal between Inter and Romelu Lukaku is now 100% off.
Inter Milan is reportedly furious and has already started looking at alternative names to fill the striker position. Instead of joining Inter for preseason, Lukaku will return to Chelsea to train alone until he finds a new team. This means he will not travel with the squad for their preseason tour in the USA. Fabrizio Romano reports that there have been contacts between Inter Milan and Folder and Balogun's representatives. Inter is interested in the young Arsenal forward. However, discussions between the two clubs are yet to take place to determine a potential fee for Balogun. Sources expect the fee to be at least €40 million or approximately €45 million. Euros. Also, Inter has a full agreement with Jan Sommer over personal terms, and the goalkeeper has given his green light for the move, as expected. Now, the club will begin negotiations with Bayern Munich to discuss a fee. Simone Inzaghi, the new manager of Inter Milan, is reportedly fond of Alvaro Morata as a potential replacement for Lukaku. La Gazzetta dello Sport reports that Morata would be Inzaghi's first choice, considering his familiarity with Serie A. However, Roma is also highly interested in the Atletico Madrid striker, making the transfer situation more intriguing. Moving on to Liverpool, Al Idihad has made a £40 million offer for Fabinho. Sky Sports News reports that Fabinho has been given permission to undergo a medical with Al Idihad, suggesting that the move could be progressing. It's important to note that the decision for Fabinho not to travel was taken collectively and was not the player's decision to refuse. Things are not so clear with the Jordan Henderson situation. Al Edifak must meet Liverpool's valuation of £20 million. According to Paul Joyce, Henderson is currently travelling to Germany for the team's training camp. James Pierce reports that Liverpool is considering Fiorentina midfielder Sofian Amrabat and Calvin Phillips as potential replacements. Romeo Lavia is another player massively appreciated by Liverpool and is under consideration for a potential transfer. David Ornstein suggests that some dialogue has taken place, although it's uncertain if there have been direct club-to-club -club talks at this stage. Neil Jones suggests that Benfica's Florentino Lewis is also a name to watch for Liverpool. PSG and Juventus have had discussions this week, as revealed by Fabrizio Romano. PSG has asked Juventus for some time to decide regarding their striker position. They are aware of Dusan Vlahovic's interest in joining PSG and are targeting Lukaku as the replacement. According to Lok Tansi, PSG has not yet made a concrete move for Harry Kane. The discussions between the parties have been limited to a few contacts. However, Paris is closely monitoring the situation and will not hesitate to make a move if Kane does not extend his contract with Spurs. Contrary to earlier rumors, PSG is not interested in Joao Felix. Moving to Manchester, according to Simon Jones, Manchester United's defender Harry Maguire could be allowed to leave if a £40 million offer is tabled. West Ham is reportedly exploring the possibility of signing Maguire, who has accepted that leaving might be in his best interest. However, Mike McGrath reports that Harry Maguire is happy at Manchester United and believes he can earn his place back in the team. Matteo Barzotti provides an update on Manchester United's pursuit of Andre Onana. The deal is said to be close, with only the player's contract details and final approval from Onana remaining. The fee is reported to be around €50 million Euros plus bonuses, and an announcement could be made as early as Monday. Also, Manchester United has been fined €300,000 by UEFA's club financial control body for breaching financial fair play regulations. UEFA stated that the club reported minor deficits in their financial statements from 2019 to 2022, as Tyrone Marshall reports. That concludes today's Transfer News Roundup. Which transfer rumor excites you the most and why? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more exciting football transfer updates. Until next time, take care and keep supporting the beautiful game.